What is going on guys? My name is Roman back in from Roman Reviews here with a new season of anime for this year. Looking forward to it. There's going to be some good shows that I'm looking forward to. And today is going to be one that was honestly not on my list until I actually started looking into what shows are actually going to be airing this season. Bartender, Glass of God. Do I know anything about it? No, not a single thing. I have no idea what I'm going into. But I used to make cocktails. I used to uh, dabble in cosmology or mixology. Sorry, not cosmology. <laughs> uh, but I used to dabble in mixology, try to make my own drinks. Never worked out. But I make a really damn good Moscow Mule. In fact, it's one of the best. And I'm not even trying to like hype myself up. I actually just love my style of in the greens that I use, as well as I make a really good old fashioned. My two favorite cocktails. In fact, I actually have over here a old cocktail whiskey glass that was part of my engagement uh, back with my ex. So kind of just have it around. I don't really use it. Uh, slightly bad memories, but I'm better now. Happier person, no longer with that person in my life because I'm actually treated, you know, well. <laughs> anyway, uh, this, so, this series looked interesting enough to me because... Like I said, I used to dabble in it. I, I drink occasionally, very rarely now, now that I'm trying to lose weight um, and it's been doing well. Um, but I don't really get to drink a lot. I miss drinking. Um, so who knows? Maybe I can actually learn something from here. I, I don't know. Maybe it'll be like Food Wars or something that, you know, clothes ripping off. Although that would be kind of funny. You just taste this really damn good cocktail. Your clothes fall off. That would be actually kind of funny. But I have no idea what this is about. I don't know if I'm going to be sticking watching it in reaction forms or watching it on my own. I'm going to give it the three episode rule as I usually do for most things. But most of the time I usually watch the show through and throughout. So I'm ready to jump into this episode reaction. So without further ado, let's jump into the first episode of Bartender Glass of God. Starting in three, two, one. Let's jam. Oh, making a diamond shape. There is something beautiful about mixology and just bartending. All right. I, I saw Glenn Levitt 12 year. Oh, wait, are these? Wait, those are these are real. Are they actually going to be sponsored by some real, real? Uh, spirits? Are they actually going to be using real spirits? This is actually going to be really cool if that is, because um, that was a gin, uh, the green bottle. I believe that was a gin. Yamazaki! That is the one version. Okay, yep. They, these are all real. Makers Mark, Jim Beam. Holy shit. Okay. Usually they use a fake name for it. No, Yamazaki 12 year and the 15 year are the two, um, two that I really love. That I've, I want to try. I mean, I've uh, I've always loved um, Japanese whiskey. Japanese whiskey is phenomenal. In fact, I actually used to. Don't have it anymore. Um, one of my favorite was a uh, um, Hibiki Suntory. One of my favorites. But yeah, bartending is is a great profession. Like I respect when it's a, in a professional setting. I've been to other bars where it's just you know, person makes a drink, or I've been to flair bars. Campari, yep. Wow, cool. I really hope we actually get to see some real drinks made and maybe some new ones that I've never heard of. Some episode one bar hoppers. Uh, no, when I go to Japan, I, when I go with friends or something, 100% I'm going to be doing bar hopping. Like they in Japan, most professions, especially when it comes to food and drink, they take their service to the next level. But I feel in bartending, there's just something about it. There's been I've seen a lot of videos of um 
I've seen some great ones. Oh, specialty cocktails? The one, I mean... Okay, I don't like olive juice, so I wouldn't, I've never had a martini. I don't, I'm not a fan of olives. Damn. Eh. Okay. Coolest cafe. I don't know that. I know a grasshopper. I've never. I've. I, I don't. Yeah. I mean, he's doing it correctly. You should always expect for an order, though. That's true. So, Flair. Oh, so he's a Flair bartender? Oh, my God. I would never be able to be a Flair bartender, even if I wanted to. A lot of hand eye coordination. A lot. Under pressure. So, the Glass of God is an actual cocktail. Interesting. Funny thing is, even if I was at the place, I I probably wouldn't be able to make my version of a uh, Moscow Mule because not everyone uses the vodka that I use. And if anyone's curious, it absolutely looks phenomenal. Does great on it. That hair sounds pretty pretty dope. Does he not know how to use a phone? How do I answer my phone? 888-888-888-888. Interesting. Is there a I do miss dabbling with things. One of my favorite cocktails I've ever drank was a um, pink, uh, no, a penicillin. Penicillin is delicious if it's done fun uh, correctly. What's the title of the show that you're in? Oh, it's one of those. It sounds so pretentious. Interesting. Her watch. The fact that it's turned on the inside. It's on the inside of her wrist, is what I mean. 
it's a military thing, but I've seen some women wear it that way, but just not any time recently. So they're going to like other bars and trying to grab other people. I don't. Mm. That'd be cool though. Like you're going around trying to find bartenders. So is this the same guy? Yeah, it is. Bacardi. Hmm. I couldn't tell what kind of Bacardi that was. Yes, I feel like, yeah, if you're going around just trying to find bar bartenders and you're paying for drinks, I don't, I feel like work wouldn't pay for that. I do know one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think that's how it works. Is it gonna be the same same dude? Slick back hair? Doesn't know how to fucking work a phone? I saw black hair, it's him. Highballs are okay. High, highballs are pretty good. Yeah, it is. Oh, so he's a foreigner. But I can't tell, like, maybe he's, like, studying. You haven't even seen him work yet, though. I mean, I'm assuming it's, yeah. It's gonna be cool. So let me guess, he's forgetful at everything else, but he's a god at making cocktails. Man, makes me, I wanna go to eat to an izakaya now and get some, some drinks and a little bit of some food. If you don't know what an izakaya is, it's basically like a, it's kind of like a regular bar, except a little bit, like, close, ooh, an Isla Scotch. Sorry. So I'm assuming he's making more of a... I'm totally losing my train of thought, by the way, I apologize. But yeah, Izakaya, um, it's, it's kind of like, a, it's more leaning towards a restaurant than a bar, but it's basically the same thing. Drinks with some bar food, and like Japanese bar food, like yakitori and other stuff. I feel like you should just have like, you know, your own uh business card. Usually the back alley ones are the best. Is that gonna be locked?
They did, yeah. When he's in that, when he's in that zone, there's a zone you get into. When you make drinks, there's something about it. I've made drinks and there's like, Lafroy. Sorry, Lafroy. Uh, it's exactly what I use. What I use to what you have to use, basically use like the standard to make a penicillin. Usually, monkey shoulder, Lafroy, honey, um, honey and ginger syrup, and I believe that's it. Yeah, lemon, lemon juice. I see Malibu. I see Maker's Mark. I couldn't tell what two of those were. One of them looked like a Yamazaki. Those are probably all Yamazakis. Oh. I've only seen it just straight. I've never seen it layered. Never seen anything float floated. I believe that is almond liqueur. What's it called? Um It's not Arjo because Arjo is usually a creamier look. Is he going to notice that it's a strong drink? I also want to get fucked up. Also, I saw Wild Turkey, Elijah, um, Elijah Craig. A Jim Bean, Old Forester. It's so weird seeing brands I'm super familiar with. Yep. I mean, I know these are going to be all accurate. It's just, it's fun to see this. I studied this for about half a year. Never again. It's an expensive hobby. Yeah. It's... I've always seen it as like an art form. It's an art form. I, I've seen it. That's what I love about it. Quantro, Smirnoff, Cosmopolitan. I should have. I should have put those two together. I'm not. I. I've had a Cosmopolitan once. I don't. I even remember what it tastes like. Now, what would be a good? Bartender's choice. No. Yeah, but if it's mm, yeah, bartenders though a really good bartender also people watch and they're very good. All right, now I'm I'm actually gonna be really focused on this one. All right, so he's making I, I don't he could be doing a diamond shape. No, okay. So ice in the glass first. Yep, releasing the um, melted water. Okay, single. Uh, all right, single melt. What was that? Two ounces. Is that a highball? It's gonna be a fucking highball. It's a high ball. Cause, but it's going to be amazing, huh? Because it's because of what you said, he remembered.
That was wrong. I'm enjoying the show a lot, actually. I'm actually really enjoying the show. I'm trying to figure out why. I've never seen that type of single malt scotch. Or, excuse me, you know what I mean. I need, I'm going to actually rewind and watch that again. What did I tell you? It's like I know these things, man. Bro. <laughs> The legend. I've never been able to test a lot with clear ice. Usually, you need a more, um, dedicated freezer for it or a ice maker for that so i've never been able to test that i've only been able to use ice cube molds molds but so that that uh, this is actually real knowledge I'm enjoying the show so far. It's only been one episode. Yeah, but that's that's if he even decides to do. Yeah. It's not supposed to do the Ritz Hotel. You could get the other license, but not the Ritz Hotel. Maybe I could be wrong, though. Guess that means you need to go back to the bar. It's a weird juxtaposition, though, from how he acts as a bartender, but then his normal self. But he did say, like, that is one thing. All right, outro real quick. All right. I enjoyed this way more than I was planning to, but you can... Funny thing is, I, have, I was only in this world of making drinks and getting into the scientific stuff of it for less than half a year.
but I know most of everything he was talking about. But I think I could, there was no way. That is more for very professional styles or setups, um, or you you have a really really love uh, for the hobby. Um, but I feel like this is actually if you ha are someone who drinks. And I'm not saying like as a like an alcoholic, but like you you enjoy the flavors of drinks and cocktails and all this. I think this so far from what I've seen, this could be a very good show. It's gonna be really relaxing. I don't really know what they could do to make some like dynamic settings. I'm not sure. One for the road. One thing I really hope is we get to see, like I said, the one thing I really hope to, is them making and showing recipes for cocktails. We got to see a, cos um, a Cosmopolitan, Highball. Highball is probably the easiest thing. And also, if you like anything with scotch, I think a Highball is actually very good. Um, or whiskey, scotch, whiskey, interchangeable. You know, you know. Um, but I think this is actually good for people who are, might be interested too. I think cocktails is a step above everything else. Wine, you can get very pretentious, but then you can also get wine coolers, if those are even still things. Beer, this is a significant step up from like regular beers, although there are some really beautiful beers. And yes, but I feel like it's on a different pedestal. Cocktail making. The art behind it when you want to do it like this. There are just regular, like I said, theme bars. There's an actually a really good, uh, um, shoot, what's the name of it? A tiki bar. There's a very, very, really, one of my favorite tiki bars. There's two, um, but the one I go to, there's one in Vegas here called the Golden Tiki. I love it. Very sugary cocktails. They make a mean Mai Tai and they are phenomenal. Happy hour drinks, eight bucks a cocktail. Three cocktails. I'm already basically drunk for 24 bucks. It's great. But then I've only been in a couple fancy bars. And I would say fancy more in quotations. My ex took me to one and I've been to another one before. And it's... There's something beautiful about them. It's an art. It really is an art at the end of the day. When it comes down to it, these types of drinks in this type of setting, it's an art form. And I think if I really wanted to, I would have actually tried to pursue this. And I mean, in Vegas, bartending can get you a lot of places. But it's also pretty expensive and it's money I don't really have. And it's something I'm trying to stay away from. Again, alcohol. Really bad for you if you're trying to lose weight. But having it every once in a while, it's not bad. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section below. I've been going on for too long. This is almost a half an hour video. But this one was very fun. I'm actually looking forward to seeing the next episode. I will be earlier. Today I just happened to work my secondary job. Just get some a little bit extra money and just hang out with my family. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode reaction. And let me know what you guys are watching this season as well. I will see you guys in the next show. I have a list. I got five more shows, not including this one, that I'm looking forward to. Um, oddly enough, I thought Bartender Glass of God was supposed to come out on Saturdays. So I was wrong. Or I just looked at it wrong. So I need to relook at all my um, times. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.